When most people think of catfish, they picture something like this. A large, whiskered, bottom dweller lurking in deep rivers or big lakes. But not all catfish fit that mold. Mad Toms are the micro versions of the catfish that most of us know well. They are a fascinating and often overlooked group of small North American catfish, belonging in the genus Noturus, with approximately 30 recognized species. They are some of North America's most secretive and specialized freshwater fish. Mad Toms are typically found in clean, well-oxygenated waters, mainly creeks, streams, and small to medium-sized rivers. They prefer habitats with gravel or rocky bottoms where they can tuck themselves under stones or into crevices during the day. They're often found under or associated with woody or rocky structure. They typically exhibit a nocturnal behavior emerging at night to hunt small aquatic insects, as well as crustaceans and other invertebrates. Most mad toms range between 2 and 5 inches in length. These fish are remarkably well adapted to their environment, blending seamlessly into the substrate to avoid predators. One of the most distinctive features of mad toms is their slender, elongated bodies paired with smooth, scaleless skin and sensitive barbels. Like other catfish, they use these whisker-like appendages to detect food in the dark. Most mad toms also possess a mild venom in their pectoral spines, which can deliver a surprisingly sharp sting, an effective defense against would-be predators, and a memorable experience for an unsuspecting angler. You can usually easily differentiate mad toms from other young catfish or bullheads by their unique adipose fin, which is longer and fused all the way to the tail, unlike the more stubby and protruding adipose fin of most other North American catfish. Morphology is very conserved in this genus, and most of the species look very similar, so telling each mad tom species apart can be difficult based just on physical characteristics. Knowing the specific ranges of a certain species can often play a key role in narrowing it down and identifying specific species. As a whole, their range spans much of the eastern U.S. as well as the central United States, with many species inhabiting very limited watersheds, making them really vulnerable to environmental damage. Mad toms play an important ecological role as both predator and prey in freshwater systems. Some species are quite common, while others are considered threatened or endangered due to habitat loss, pollution, and stream alteration. Whether you're a field biologist, a dedicated aquarist, or an angler who enjoys exploring hidden creeks, understanding these little unique catfish offers a window into the rich biodiversity of North America's freshwater ecosystems. This video is one of many in a series that I am doing on all the fish species of North America. So if you find this video helpful or interesting, please consider checking out my other videos. We are now going to take a look at each one of these remarkable little mad tom species. The Black River Mad Tom has a yellowish body with four faint saddle markings, which are sometimes very subtle. It can be up to 12 centimeters or 4.7 inches in length. Its habitat is usually clear, rocky upland streams with moderate flow. Its range is the Black and St. Francis River systems of Missouri and Arkansas. The brindled mad tom has a light yellow brown body with a dark mottling and four obscure saddles and faint black fin margins. It is around 13 centimeters or 5.1 inches. The brindled mad tom is one of the most widespread and adaptable mad tom species. Its range is widely distributed throughout the eastern and central U.S., including the Great Lakes region, the Ohio River, and the Mississippi Basin. This fish likes creeks, small rivers with gravel or rock substrates. The Caddo Mad Tom has a slender brown body with three to four saddles and a terminal mouth. It has a size of about seven centimeters or three inches. This fish likes shallow, clear streams with moderate current and gravel bottoms. The conservation status of the Caddo Mad Tom is endangered as it's very limited in its range and vulnerable to pollution as well as other environmental issues. Its range is in southwestern Arkansas, including the Caddo, Wachita, and Little Missouri rivers. The Carolina Mad Tom is a stout brownish fish with four dorsal saddles and blotched fins. It has a size of 12 centimeters or 4.7 inches. This fish likes clear sandy bottom streams with cover like logs or rocks. Its conservation status is near threatened and its range is in the Noose and Tar River basins in North Carolina. This fish is under pressure from habitat fragmentation. The checkered Mad Tom is one of my personal favorites, I just think this fish is really beautiful. 
It has a yellowish base with heavy dark modeling and saddles. This is one of the bigger Mad Toms, being around 18 centimeters or 7.1 inches. Like most other Mad Toms, it likes clear, rocky riffles and runs. This fish is found in the upper White River system of Missouri and Arkansas. The Chucky Mad Tom is slender pale brown and is 7.4 centimeters or about 3 inches in length. It likes shallow, fast flowing riffles with cobblestones. The conservation status of this fish is critically endangered. It has a small range in Dunn Creek and the Little Chucky Creek in Tennessee. The freckled Mad Tom is olive brown with dense, dark freckling, but the freckling really isn't all that obvious in every individual. This fish is about 15 centimeters or 6 inches. It likes low gradient creeks and small rivers with structure, and its range is the Mississippi River Basin and the Gulf Slope streams. The margin Mad Tom has a slender yellowish body with black fin margins, and I think the name of this one actually helps identify the species that you're looking at. It's about 15 centimeters and about 6 inches in length. It likes clear streams with rocky or gravel beds. The range of the margin Mad Tom is the Atlantic Slope from the St. Lawrence all the way down to Georgia. The Mountain Mad Tom is brown-gray with modeling and sometimes three to four saddles. It's about 13 centimeters or five inches in length, and it enjoys moderate flow streams with clear substrates. This fish is found in the Ohio and upper Mississippi basins. The Ozark Mad Tom is another beautiful Mad Tom species. It's yellow-brown with four saddles, and it has a size of 12 centimeters or 4.7 inches, found in upland streams, riffles, and runs of the Ozarks, specifically the Upper White and Little Red River systems. The Slender Mad Tom is another one where the name actually helps you identify the species. As you can see in this picture, it has a very slender look, especially towards the head. It has a size of around 15 centimeters or 6 inches, and it is found in moderate to fast flow streams with lots of cover. The range of the Slender Mad Tom is in the Green, Cumberland, Tennessee, and Upper Mississippi River basins. The Stone Cat is perhaps one of the most common species on this list. It has a broad distribution throughout much of the U.S. and even parts of southern Canada. It has a pretty yellow to brownish drab look. This is the biggest fish on this list with a length of 31 centimeters or 12.2 inches. This fish is found in clear, cool rivers and also lakes. The tadpole mad tom is another widely distributed and common species. It's found in the Atlantic and Gulf Slopes, the Great Lakes region, the Mississippi River, and all the way up into Canada. It's another drab looking species with uniform light or tan brown and sometimes a narrow lateral stripe. This fish has a size of 13 centimeters or 5 inches, and like the name indicates, it's a little more plump like a tadpole than some of these slender looking mad tom species. It is often found in vegetated, slow moving, or still waters. The Scioto mad tom historically was found in Big Darby Creek, Ohio, but unfortunately is now presumed to be extinct. It was a very small mad tom, only being around 6 centimeters or 2.4 inches in length. Now, for the remaining species, I unfortunately don't have a photograph for the fish, as most of these species are very rare, and I wasn't able to collect any pictures from my available resources. That being said, if you have a picture of one of these species, or really any species that are somewhat rare and specific to your region, and you feel comfortable sharing those with me to use in future videos, that would be very helpful. If you feel like you have something to send me, my email is in the description below. Now the piebald mad tom is one that I really wish I had a picture of because in my opinion it's the most beautiful of all the mad tom species. I highly encourage you to search an image of this fish if you are interested in seeing what it looks like. It's a yellow or tan hue with bold dark bands and white spots near the dorsal fin. This fish is around 13 centimeters or 5 inches in length. Its range is western Tennessee and the northern Mississippi tributaries. The black mad tom has a solid black to bluish hue with white fin spots. It's around 15 centimeters or 6 inches. It's found in gulf drainage streams from the Florida Panhandle to the Pearl River in Mississippi and Louisiana. The broadtail mad tom is pale tan with no body speckles and a dark caudal blotch. It's around 6 centimeters or 2.4 inches. 
Its range is in Cape Fear and the PD drainages of North and South Carolina. The brown mad tom is anywhere from light to dark brown with fine speckling and a long anal fin. It has a size of around 15 centimeters or 6 inches. The fish is found in the Mississippi River tributaries and the Gulf drainages of Kentucky through Louisiana. The elegant mad tom is a slender yellowish gray and has a brown dorsal blotch. It's a small fish being only around 7 centimeters or 3 inches. It is found in the upper Green River system of Kentucky and Tennessee. The freckle belly mad tom is brown with four saddles and a speckled belly. It is up to 10 centimeters or 4 inches and found in a few states throughout the south. The conservation status of this fish is vulnerable. The least mad tom is a slender fish with four pale oval spots on the back. It is usually around 7 centimeters or 2.7 inches. The Neosho mad tom has a yellow or almost pinkish body with brown modeling and white tail edges. It's around 8.7 centimeters or 3.4 inches. This fish is federally threatened. The Washita mad tom is a tan brown with a slender body and a flat head. It's 10 centimeters or around 4 inches, found in central Arkansas in the upper Saline River. It is currently protected by the state and is an uncommon species. The orange fin mad tom is an olive brown with yellow fin edges and an orange white triangle on the caudal fin. It can be 10 centimeters or 4 inches and is found in the upper Roanoke River of Virginia and North Carolina. This is also another uncommon fish to see. The pygmy mad tom has a tiny white snout. It is only 4.2 centimeters or 1.7 inches, making it the smallest of all the mad tom species. It is found in the Clinch and Duck Rivers of Tennessee. This fish is federally endangered and extremely rare. The saddled mad tom is slender brown with 3 to 4 light saddles. It is 8.5 centimeters or 3 inches in length. The fish is found in the Duck River system of Tennessee and is likely to soon be listed as endangered. The Smoky Mad Tom is a slender olive brown with faint pale saddles. It is around 7 centimeters or 3 inches and is found in the Little Tennessee River system. This fish is also federally endangered. The Speckled Mad Tom is brown with dense black speckles. It's around 9 centimeters or 4 inches and is found in the Atlantic and Gulf drainages of South Carolina, Louisiana, and the Florida Peninsula. The Northern Mad Tom is yellow with saddles enclosing pale spots. Its size is 13 centimeters or 5 inches, and as the name indicates, it has a more northern region than most of these other mad tom species. It is listed as endangered in Canada and considered an uncommon species in the U.S. Yellowfin mad tom has a yellow body with dark saddles and bold fin bands. It is 15 centimeters or 6 inches and found in the upper Tennessee River system. This fish is federally threatened and very rare. I just love elusive little species that don't get much attention, and mad toms are a perfect example of that. It's unfortunate that so many of these species are vulnerable or endangered, and I think that it's important to share and teach about their existence, because it's hard to conserve something that you just don't know exists. Thank you for watching. If you watched this video all the way to the end and haven't subscribed, I would highly recommend doing so. Thanks, and I hope to see you on the next one.